Welcome to the United chapter and Adrian Rabio, a Ventus football player and his move to Manchester United is one of the things that we're going to be talking about. Not forgetting about the B trade Eric Ten Hag as we thought that after Eric Ten Hag had won the FA Cup final, uh, we had a feeling that he will be remaining at the club Manchester United. But it turns out that that is far away from reality and the truth is that the Ineos are going on uh, on a search, uh, definitely on a search of a football manager with Thomas Frank and Mauricio Pochettino's talks are uh, definitely still on and uh, more than uh, the definitely more serious than uh, ever before than what we thought before. We thought all oh, this would definitely be out. And also a young kid now on the block, I must say, uh, the club Manchester United is interested in signing a young talent in the names I mean Chiakla, uh, who is uh, I mean Chiaka, who is uh, from FC Copenhagen, would be uh, heading to the club Manchester United. Let us get uh, into all this and what exactly I've got to bring to you. So, uh, of course, some information coming in from uh, Manchester Evening News. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, from the United Kingdom. So, uh, Manchester United, uh, Manchester Evening News uh, goes uh, says that uh, Manchester United presented with Adrian Rabio transfer opportunity as the forward battles uh, definitely emerge. We'll be talking about Rabio and uh, then uh, talking about uh, a bit about Amin Chiaka and then uh, we'll go to the manager saga. So, Manchester United presented with Adrian Rabia transfer opportunity as uh, a forward battle so definitely emerges. And the latest uh, Manchester United news and gossip with updates on the Avengers midfielder Adrian Rabio and FC Copenhagen striker Amin Chiaka. And that is from... Uh, that is from um, Manchester Evening News. So, Adrian Rabio plays for Juventus, being heavily linked to Manchester United. So, Manchester United uh, look to uh, have a busy summer transfer window before next season. United are still uh, looking into uh, 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 how they can get the next season on quite well. And they are surviving their FA Cup final victory over Manchester City from the weekend. The win at Wembley Stadium also secured the Reds' a spot in the Europa League for next season. And this comes in from uh, Manchester Evening News, and uh, definitely you all knew that. However, uh, Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United as a manager has been the subject of intense speculation in recent weeks, despite the uncertainty of who will be in the Old Trafford dugout in August. Manchester United are still being linked with several potential new signings and this comes in from Manchester Evening News so uh, let's see let's try and uh, see exactly what uh, this has to give us is there anything more from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, Manchester Evening News or oh, yes there is so according to the Italian outlet uh, Tuto Juve Adrian Rabia remains a possible target for Manchester United ahead of the summer transfer window and Rabia's contract with uh, Juventus is set to expire at the end of the next month uh, when he would then be available as a free transfer and I don't think Juventus will be in for it because they will lose quite a bit of money if he decides to make that move away from Juventus. So. Uh, uh, this definitely shows you that Manchester United could be making that big move and uh, so that um, they can get a football player but Juventus will be looking at the money not losing a bit of money let's go on with the Manchester Evening News and uh, the reports that uh, Rabio would be an opportunity for Manchester United to add their depth uh, their midfield options without needing to use any of their transfer budget that would be quite good then it has also been stated that Newcastle are also showing an interest in signing Rabio this summer and would provide competition for Manchester United for the players signature oh so 
on Manchester Evening News goes on and says elsewhere, Manchester United are reported that was about uh, Rebio, yeah, that was about uh, Adrian Rebio. But now nah, they're going on and saying uh, Manchester United, uh, Manchester United. Uh, let me see elsewhere, Manchester United are reportedly uh, one of the several clubs interested in signing. Uh, Interested in signing uh, FC po Copenhagen striker Amin Chiakar, according to uh, tips blooded. Both United and City have been monitoring the striker with a view to potentially make a move this very summer. And Chiakar is yet to make a first team appearance for Copenhagen, but has been a star for the club's youth ranks. The Stars scored 24 goals in 34 appearances for Copenhagen under 19 this very season, including 8 in 9 matches in the UEFA Youth League. And reports that Juventus and Ajax have previously expressed interest in signing Chiaka teams from Bundesliga, League One and Eredivisie are also said to be interested in a deal to sign Chiaka. And yeah, so, I mean, Chiaka, very wonderful one, a very good football player. Let's see what definitely will transpire. And that has been from, that's been from, uh, uh, from uh, Manchester Evening News. And really, let's uh, let's look a little bit now. Now that we've had about uh, uh, Chiaka, I mean Chiaka, and we've also had about Adrian Rabio, who brings a who is a big opportunity for Manchester United to sign him. Yeah. Now let's see exactly what. Uh, let's see what uh, uh, what uh, I've got for you. But we can talk about the manager saga. What the manager saga definitely has uh, what so Manchester United as I told you before Manchester United won the FA Cup and uh, goals goes from uh, the young the young man Kobe Mino and also a uh, young talent Alejandro Ganacho so Manchester United win that FA Cup and you know, that definitely is quite good for Manchester United and uh, well Manchester City had one goal, and that was um, that was from one of their own uh, Doku, Jeremy Doku. So uh, they played well. Uh, Manchester United definitely played well. Everybody was quite happy about the display of talent, and we thought. But before then, before the game, yeah, we had reports from Sky Sport from almost everywhere saying that no matter what happens, no matter the outcome of uh, the of the FA, Eric Ten Hag is going to be sacked by Manchester United. And when Eric Ten Hag was asked about this, he said he had already talked to the managers at the club. He had already talked uh, other managers, and he had already he had also uh, talked to. Um, sorry, he had also talked to apart from uh, them. He had also talked to the owners, and they were at good terms, and they were already planning for the next season. And that, uh, for some reason, uh, shut down the talks that he was going to be sacked. But still, an Italian outlet came out and said, you know what, that is uh, absolutely not true. He's going to be sacked no matter what. So, uh, I thought, okay, let's wait and see what happens. And after that display of big talent when it came to the FA Cup final, yeah, I think... Uh, we had the thought. We thought it's possibly Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the Ineos group will look at giving this gentleman a bit more time. But looking at it, we need to look at it this way: yeah? Manchester United uh, football. This way, when you look at how football has been played recently, with clubs that are struggling to get uh, in the top one spot, apart from Arsenal, I must say it's not been good. You cannot keep changing managers. What's, what happened to Arsenal? Mikel Ateta was given a bit of time and he developed a project and uh, has now a good squad in there. Manchester City, same thing. It was time. Pep Guardiola did not come and perform the first day. You need to work around and uh, get a few football players in and uh, get the squad moving. And then, uh, apart from them, also, do not forget that Sir Alex Ferguson was given time and he proved that really 
uh, if a manager is given time, he can come out with possibly the best of squads that there is. So I think clubs should forget about a direct impact. Uh, uh, just bring football uh, manager, bring a football manager, and he performs there and then. It, it will be sort of chance, you know. So uh, the previous season, um, Eric Tenag performed quite well, and this season is not performed as expected. So, or uh, um, the next season we are not sure. But you can tell me that just because the manager has had one bad season, still a new manager, a manager has got only two seasons, and you want to sack him? What's wrong? And I don't know what's happening. In uh, same thing is applied to Chelsea. Chelsea have sacked managers in out, in out, with the latest manager being Mauricio Pochettino being sacked after winning four goals, four, not four goals, four games in a row. And that shows you how crazy football has really gone. Yeah. Anyway, having said, having talked about Mauricio Pochettino, has been linked to Manchester United as one of the potential football managers that's going to be replacing Eric Ten Hag and I think um, that's that could be a bit tricky for Manchester United I don't know when he's a good manager but honestly he's not a trophy winner he's not, uh, he's not won that much trophies we've not got it's not, it's not won that much trophies look at when he's been at Paris Saint-Germain look at when he's been at uh at, um, when he's been at Tottenham Hotspurs, really not a ma not much trophies are uh, contributed to his uh, attributed to his name, but he's one that can uh, put a club into a good position. But he's, he doesn't always compete for for the number one spot. So let's wait and see how all this will definitely transpire, how this will go, but. Uh, with Eric Ten Hag, uh, there is a big possibility that he could be leaving. And also, the Ineos billionaire is reported that he's going on uh, looking for yet another manager. He's trying to uh, see which manager could be fit for Manchester United. And uh, also, another manager that has come out is Thomas Frank. And Thomas Frank, uh, who is a uh, Brentford manager in and also Makina, but Makina, uh, before we go to Thomas Frank, Makina, Karen Makina, who's, uh, who's been the manager of Ipswich and was at once at Manchester United, has been linked to Manchester United. And the thing is, just because, this is where I don't agree, just because somebody has promoted their club to the Premier League in M Manchester United, think is the best of managers there is. No, it's not like that, it doesn't run like that. Sometimes you need to get a manager who's been tested. I mean, when you get when Manchester United goes on and gets a manager, if that if he gets to that, and United have got to get a manager, if United gets a manager like Thomas Tuchel, that would definitely be great. I would say uh, Thomas Frank is a good one, but he's not been in that tight competition of the f of the top four. You know, he's not managed a big massive club. And I don't think that possibly the problems that Eric Tenag is facing now will be the problems that 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 Kieran McKenna gets if he joins Manchester United. Anyway, uh, I think the right manager for Manchester United I th with me, I think there should be a bit of time left. I think. Eric Tenag should be given more time rather than going on and looking for other managers. I think Eric Tenag can do better, yeah? I think he needs to be given time, given maybe three more seasons, that's what I'm saying, and maybe three more seasons and hopefully he can come up with something, he can come up with uh, a very wonderful squad, you know, and a squad that's going to win uh, a couple of trophies because that's what uh, every club is looking at. Anyway, having said that, we've been talking about uh, Amin Chiaka uh, from FC Copenhagen, when where he is uh, quite a very good one and being targeted by very wonderful clubs. And Manchester United are saying we also need him, so we could see him uh, making that move to Manchester United. So him 
and uh, and, and also Adrian Rabio's opportunity of present and a couple of managers yeah being linked to Manchester United the Ineos billionaire be saying oh you know what uh, that's never gonna uh, him Manchester uh, Manchester United's manager is never gonna be Eric Tenag anymore so but we had the uh, we had the we've got uh, we've got another Eric Tenag at one point was promised that they, he's going to be the fact that he was told that he's going to be he met this oh, the owners and was told that he's go he's going to be the manager for a bit of time and it comes out that it's not going to be that means a uh, betrayal big time anyway thank you for being part of uh, the united chapter my name is abu Kaus. thank you and goodbye for now